What's going on, you guys? I hope you are having an amazing week, an amazing day, an amazing hour. I hope you're just feeling good because I'm feeling great and I promise you it's not just a hypomania. Today, I want to talk to y'all about somebody special, someone who is the love of my life now, um, someone who is probably the biggest person in my life right now. Um, I just love them so much. Shy, come here. I want you guys to meet Shy. Shy, say hi. Say hi, baby. Say hi, look. Shy, look. See the camera? You can see yourself. Oh, I know. He's really tired, you guys. He's supposed to be napping right now. Um, and I'm gonna put him right back down, but I wanted to make a video because I've been meaning to make a video for the past few days. Um, but this little guy has not allowed me. He is really, really young. He's only seven weeks. I got him when he was six weeks. Um, so if any of y'all are familiar with puppies or dogs in general, you're really not supposed to get them until they're eight or nine weeks um, because they're not really supposed to be away from their mothers. You know how like I talk about how, you know, I wasn't able to form attachment when I was younger and, you know, was jumping around households and stuff until I was to the like, age of four. Um, and now I have all these problems. Yeah, that, the same thing goes for dogs. Like you can't just remove them. Um, so I did not know that when I bought him. Um, well, I rescued him, I guess, in a sense. It's a long, complicated story. I was going to pick up a, um, a dachshund at this like farm, they said. Um, and I got there and it was like a house in Covington, Georgia. It wasn't a farm at all. Um, and there were no dachshunds to be found. There were just Labrador slash pit bull like um, mixes. Um, he, they, they say pit bull mixes and there was like the father pit bull there, um, but he doesn't look like a pit bull. He looks more like a beagle lab mix or like a beagle hound mix. Long story short, uh, the guy was like, oh yeah, he's six weeks old. He didn't give me like any paperwork. He didn't give me like any he didn't give me anything but the dog and then asked for like the money through like cash app or cash um so and there was like hella puppies there like hella dogs um and i realized that like oh this is like a puppy mill um so i took shy obviously i couldn't take all of the dogs um but i felt like he had to get out of there and then i reported them so um <laughs> hopefully the other puppies are safe hopefully your brothers and sisters and everyone there are safe um but he has been the love of my life for the past two weeks, um, he's a puppy, so obviously he has some, not behavioral issues, because like, you don't really have behavioral issues if that's just in your nature at that time. Um, but he's definitely taken up a lot of my time, haven't you? Haven't you taken up a lot of my time? So I had been thinking about getting a dog for the past year or so. Doesn't he look like a, like a lab beagle mix? Less than like a lab like pit bull mix? I don't know. What do you guys think? Shy, you want to show your face? Hmm? Look. Look at the camera. Look at the camera, baby. Oh, you're so cute. I love you so much. Oh my gosh. You're just my little baby. I know you don't want to be out here. Oh. So I grew up technically with a dog when I was four um, and other dogs around me, but I never had like that family dog or whatever. Um, my dad has, the dog was my sister's and now it's my dad's dog and like, um, well, whatever. But like I've never had a dog myself that I got to take care of for a long period of time. Um, like I've had dogs where I've taken care of for like a few months or I've lived with for a few months and then for whatever reason they go away. So I have been thinking about it, especially because they say it helps a lot with mental health and mental illness and that they're really good companions and just all of that jazz. But I was really afraid for how much work it would be. Um, <laughs> shy, I know you want to play. I know you want to play. I know you want to play. When I got to like the bullshit or whatever, um, he was cowering under like a stone and like all the other puppies were out. Um, and he's like not small in terms of like the litter that size that I saw, but he was just kind of chilling doing his own thing. Um, and I felt like I could connect with that. Like, you know, like fuck everybody else. It's hot as hell out here. He was also being kept outside. Um, and I'm in Georgia, keep mind you, so it's a hundred fucking degrees. Um, he just, I just like, I knew as soon as I saw him and I was just like, all right, that's the one that I'm going to take, essentially. Um, they asked for money. Um, I just like, I, I, I like figured out a way around that <laughs> because like I'm not paying a puppy bill. Anyway, um, he's been amazing so far. For the most part, 
Um, I didn't think I could love something so much. It's a, it's a weird feeling. Um, like when I got him or whatever, I was just like, you seem cool. Like you seem like, obviously I just told y'all that he was awesome. Um, but it wasn't like I would do anything for you. It wasn't like, oh my God, I love you so much. Um, until the next day when I had left him at home for the first time. Um, or no, two days after that, I had gone out. I went out for like 30 minutes to go get some, um, some food or something from down the, down the street. But I wasn't gone long. Um, it was like, no, 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 go, you need to go potty. Oh, guys, so much work. As I was saying, y'all, y'all won't know this, but, um, he just took, like, the nastiest shit ever. Um, and now he's drinking water. So, <laughs> this video might take a lot longer, um, than expected. But anyway, as I was saying, I did not, like, love him, love him when I picked him up. I was like, oh, he's so cute. He, like, I resonate with him or whatever. It's all great. But it wasn't until the next day when I left him for, like, 30, 40 minutes. I was just like, oh, my God, I care so much about this, like, this other, like, living thing. Um, and I've dropped, like, so much money on you. You say have. And like, I just don't care. Like, most times, even when I'm going on dates, I'm like, damn, I have to, like, spend this money. Like, I'll do it. But it's just, like, it, it hurts. With you, it doesn't hurt at all because you're the love of my life. Yes, you are. Yeah. Let me move the camera over here. Um, so I haven't completely puffy-proofed my room. So I don't want him running around everywhere quite yet. So that's why it's been a little bit hard, like, trying to do a video. Because, one, he's not going to sit still and just, like, look pretty for the camera as I'm sure y'all know because he's seven weeks now um but at the same time it's like I wanted to share with you guys my new puppy for the past year I've been doing like research and like stuff about training um because I was just like I'm a terrified of fucking the puppy up and not like being abusive but like just not knowing things about training and then he becomes like one of the dogs that are like fucked up when they're older <laughs> um but like you really nothing I mean I guess you can compare but like this shit is different from what I read online in the book and everything it's not the same but it's been surprisingly amazing. So in terms of emotional support, um, you know, obviously I can have him registered or not registered. There's no such thing as registering emotional support animal, by the way. Um, your therapist or medical professional just writes a letter. Um, while I can do that, and I'm definitely going to do that, um, I was actually thinking about having him trained as a psychiatric service dog um, to help me with like PTSD and like bipolar disorder and a whole bunch of uh, like all the other shit I'm dealing with. Only problem with that is that it's super expensive. Um, I'm not super well versed in understanding a lot of the logistical stuff because like he's only seven weeks. Like when do you start? Um, he's like also my dog and most times, from my understanding, you know, you go and get those dogs already trained. You don't train them while you're like already disabled. I don't really know. Um, but I'm looking into that because I thought that would be really interesting. Um, to have like you know a psychiatric service dog that can help me like, like the days when i'm having like six panic attacks a day um that would be great <laughs> right now he is amazing in the sense that you know he is still very young so he's like not like he's still learning every single day there's like something new every single thing he sees it's brand new to him so he's, he's legit like he's a he's a baby um but he has worked to ground ground me um in the sense that you know, everything I'm doing in the last two weeks has been revolving around him. So scheduling, um, obviously like, you know, doing a YouTube video or whatever, it's like, I can't just whip out the camera like I do now, um, or like I'm trying to do now. I'm like playing with him. Um, I realized that once I edit all of this, y'all wouldn't know if this was done at the same time or throughout the day. Um, but yeah, so that's been the best thing, I think, especially in my hypomanic state this summer, um, which I have been in slash apparently still am in. Um, he's kept me like inside because I like don't like really leave the house So I'm not going out at like 4 a.m. Doing you know random like Mysterious I'm not I just don't want to stand on camera, but you can imagine um, I'm just not going out in the middle of the night doing like random shit because I'm here watching him or taking care of oh, he Cries so much too. It's the one thing he cries the Baby cries. What's wrong, baby? So he's been a very grounding like figure and he's just seven weeks like the fact that I just have to be here to care for him has been amazing um he already shows love and affection and that like I'm not sure if that's good or bad for my attachment disorder or my attachment problems but that's been all hey no shy no um but like I remember I know you're not supposed to do this <laughs> but I was taking him out of his crate early um er earlier than his like normal wake-up time it was like 5 a.m or something um, and I brought him into my bed so that he could sleep with me. Um, and he just like got so happy and he came up to me and just like, I thought he was about to bite my face because he does that. 
um, but he just came up to me and just licked me all over in the face, and I was just like, oh, you recognize that, like, I, I see, the, like, the intuitiveness, like, oh my god, you love me, um, and he's always just so happy when I come, it's just, like, you guys, if you've never had a dog, then, like, maybe I, that's why I'm explaining it, but, like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people understand how dogs work, um, he's just the love of my life, and I'm so happy, and I didn't think I could be so happy, I had all of these, um, anxieties and fears and inhibitions in my head, um, about getting a dog, even though I had really wanted one. Um, and now that, like, you know, it's kind of just, I guess it's kind of like having a baby, you know, sometimes this isn't the case, <laughs> but like, you know, you don't know you want a kid until like, you're like, oh, I'm pregnant, so we gotta, shy, shy, what are you doing? So that's been like the other thing. Um, one, I like, you know, the whole um, OCD organization slash crazy mindset. I have carpet in my room um, and I like things to be very organized and particularly done a certain way. Like if something is, like, for example, if a rug in my room was to be, like, kind of turned over or, um, like, you know, fold it in the center because a friend came and, like, put his feet down or something or something weird like that. Like, you know, normal things that no one else would pick up. Um, I would probably freak out and be like, hey, could you move your shoes or, like, move your feet so that the rug can lay flat? So <laughs> things like that I feel like aren't great for having a puppy because puppies don't care about that. They shit and pee everywhere, um, and they chew up everything, and like things are bound to happen, no matter how hard I try to control it. And I felt like that was gonna freak me out. It kind of has a little bit, but not to the point where I like thought I would be like dying. Um, mostly just because I love him so much. <laughs> There's times like this. I'm in. I'm in this like his like little play den crate area because he literally doesn't want anything from me. He just wants me to sit here. So, because um, he's lonely, I guess. And he just pee in the corner. I had to clean it up. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been definitely an experience. And I think I'm going to start a new vlog series with him. Um, especially if I start the psychiatric service training. Um, I think that would be really beneficial to people um, in general. I've been thinking of him more of a as a dog than as a baby. And I've had to reverse that thinking. Um, and think of him more as a baby than like a dog. Because he does things basically any baby would do. And I'm just like, why are you doing this? And it's just like, oh because you're like a month and a half old. <laughs> and that's like, why? Like for me, example, for me sitting here, I'm not sure if this is just normal puppy behavior, um, but like also he's like not really supposed to be away from his mother. Um, it's like two weeks early, which is like a big deal for dogs um, or a well, semi big deal. Like he might be, he'll probably be fine, um, especially because I, I feel like I'm loving, um, but like that's why he's like, like really clingy to say the, like, to say the least. Um, and it's just a struggle trying to figure out like, how to be there for him but then also make sure he doesn't get overly attached because i want him to be able to like self-regulate no 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 shy no um but i also like know that like i mean you want babies to self-regulate but not like at a, like when they're first born you know what i'm saying um so that's been definitely a delicate balance um, um i think also in terms of like just having someone to love <laughs> um i think is been the, like the biggest thing and to talk to um he doesn't like talk back obviously because he's a dog i feel as though he can understand me um and sometimes i'll just sit here and we'll just talk and play and then i'll realize that, like oh the day is over <laughs> like that's like what i've been doing so he's now like become my best friend um i feel as though we can relate to a lot of different things and i like i fully believed that this existed that type of relationship bond existed between people and their dogs like before i got a dog like my own dog but um it was like a different realization now he and I are just, you know, we're all we have. <laughs> Not necessarily. But yeah. I don't really have anything else for y'all. I just kind of wanted you to, to see and introduce y'all to Shy. Um, I think I'm going to start vlogging every week to talk about his development. So I've already, I mean, I have some footage. Hey, no, no, no. You haven't done anything to deserve the snacks. It's like in my snack go bag. Sorry, I have to keep pausing the video and attend to like his needs. You guys are so needy. Yes, you are. Um, yeah, so I got a dog. His name is Shy, and I love him. And I'm super excited for what the future holds. Super excited for a psychiatric service dog training and to learn about, you know, more about what that means and what he can do to help me. Like, when he's older, he's already helping me a lot um, by just, like, keeping me inside um, and keeping me to a routine. Like, we definitely have a routine going because if we don't, I made that mistake the first night, and it was, like, living hell. Um... Yes, the last part I want to add is that it's just been hard, I think, also. Um, I'm not 
the most i'm not the most stern person unless i'm upset and then when i'm upset it's kind of just like uncontrolled um anger or like yeah uncontrolled anger <laughs> so i'm trying to be stern with him about different things um our, our word is no um and stop and we have, we have a few different words um i have that whiteboard back there cleared so i can write the specific words down because i've been forgetting and he'll look at me like i have no idea what you're saying um and then i'll remember him like oh okay that's confusing and he's fucked up and then i get confused and then we just don't know anything like we just get confused um, but yeah i will have to switch all back with another video once you know we actually start doing stuff more things i mean i can just show you him play right now um but that's about it